Hello Aquarius, Sun Rising and Venus, and welcome to your reading. So Aquarius, so we're going to focus on your recent past, your current energy, and the near future, and a few other things. So let's get started. For Aquarius, Sun Rising and Venus. For Aquarius, Sun Rising and Venus. Okay. All right, Aquarius, in the recent past, we do have the Ace of Cups. So it does look like love showed up here for you in the recent past. Now, it could have came from somebody brand new, or it could have came from somebody that you already have a lot of history with. But I do want to look a little bit more into the Ace of Cups for Aquarius. Tell me more about the Ace of Cups for Aquarius. This, to me, feels like an overall energy of... You receiving a love opportunity from somebody that you already know is basically what I'm getting. I don't necessarily feel like this is somebody brand new that we're talking about here. This to me does feel like somebody that you do have a lot of history with. You could have known this person uh, for many, many years, but it kind of looks like, yeah, this, this person may have resurfaced back up here for you, wanting to reconnect with you, wanting to basically pick up where he left off with you. For some of you, you could have been the one to to gravitate towards them wanting to reconnect with them and pick up where you essentially left off with them i am definitely getting that now currently at the moment we do have the knight of wands so let's look at the knight of wands we have the full we have the three of pentacles and then we also have the nine of cups if this person resurfaced back up here for you um, I do see you being really happy about it. I am definitely getting that strongly. You know, this to me kind of feels like an overall energy of you connecting, you reconnecting with somebody that you've been wanting to reconnect with for quite some time now. Now, if you actually resurface back up here for them, um, I do feel like this person's very happy that you decided to resurface back up here for them. I do feel like this person is really happy that the two of you were finally able to reconnect here with one another. Now, I do want to see what the challenge is. What is the challenge? So we do have the, okay, we have the two of cups. Why is the two of cups a challenge? We have the ace of pentacles. We have the temperance card. And then we also have the, um, uh, Two of Pentacles out here. Mm. Okay. So the challenge has a lot to do with the two of you doing things differently this time around. That's basically what I'm getting. Um, in other words, you can't go back to handling this relationship the way that you once upon a time did. Because if you do, it's bound to go south again. Your person can't handle this relationship the way that they used to in the past. Because if they do, it's bound to go south. You know, there is an overall energy of the two of you needing to do things differently this time around. So that way you guys get a different outcome. But if you guys go back to going about this relationship the way that you guys used to go about this relationship, I keep wanting to say this, it is bound to go south again is basically what I'm getting. Now, let's look at the overall advice. So we have the Ace of Wands here for the overall advice. Let's see what the Ace of Wands is the overall advice. Okay, so we do have the Strength card. We got the Four of Pentacles, and then we also have the Wheel of Fortune. I do feel like somebody's going to end up getting what it is that they want in the end. I am specifically getting that strongly. Like in regards to this specific situation, I do feel like someone in particular is going to get exactly what it is that they essentially want or exactly what it is that they've been wanting out of this connection. What does this person want out of this connection? We have the Queen of Pentacles, we got the Page of Swords, and then we also have the uh, Queen of Wands. The bottom of the deck, we do have the Hierophant out here. It kind of looks like in the in the past. Let's talk about when the two of you were involved with each other um, in the past. Anyways, um, it kind of looks like the two of you had a very difficult time getting this relationship off the ground for whatever reason. And it could have a lot to do with the fact that one person, you know, was ready for a serious relationship, but the other party wasn't, um, you know, causing this relationship to never really get off the ground the way that you honestly wanted to or the way that your person honestly wanted to. Because there's a huge possibility, Aquarius, that maybe you weren't ready for a relationship but they were you see what I mean causing the relationship to not get off the ground because it kind of looks like I'm looking at two people who clearly want two different things here you know one person wants something serious the other person just wants to focus on themselves and their career um but I do feel like the person um I do feel like the person that 
wants something serious here is going to eventually end up getting something serious here. So if you're the one that's been wanting something serious here with this person, it kind of looks like that's eventually going to happen. And if your person is the one that's been wanting something serious here with you, it kind of looks like that's eventually going to happen. Um, it's basically what I'm getting. Okay. Now let's look at the devil in the near future. All right, we got the seven of wands, we have the five of swords, and then we also have the five of cups out here. The bottom of the deck, we do have the four of wands with the empress to the four of cups to the page of pentacles. Somebody's doing it again. Somebody's doing it again. Somebody's kind of falling back into their old ways again. It's basically what I'm getting. I don't know if it's you or if it's your person, um, but somebody's falling back into their old ways again. Somebody's exhibiting behaviors that they used to harness back in the days. Again, it's kind of what I'm getting. Um, again is what I'm getting. Somebody in this connection, I don't know who it is, but somebody in this connection um, has a very difficult time, I would say, trusting the person that they're currently connecting with. So this could be you, Aquarius. Maybe you're having a very difficult time trusting this person, their intentions towards you, causing you to want to push this person away, causing you to want to run in the opposite direction of this relationship because you think that, you know, this is going to eventually blow up in your face. You know what I mean? Maybe this is your person responding and reacting this way. That's definitely a possibility um, where your person's pushing you away because they think you don't have their best interests at heart. They think you're going to hurt them or they think you're going to betray them or they think you're going to deceive them. Um, I am definitely getting that, that somebody's resorting back to their old ways all over again. And I can't emphasize this enough, especially when I was talking about the challenge here. This requires the two of you to approach this relationship with one another differently this time around. So if y'all go back to um, being the way that you guys were in the past towards one another, this relationship is bound to go south. It's bound to go south. And we kind of see it starting to go south here between you and this person because you're exhibiting behaviors that you used to harness um, when you guys were once upon a time romantically involved with one another in the past. Now, or your person's doing this. Or your person's doing this. You know, this to me feels like phases that somebody's going through within this dynamic. It kind of looks like things start off really good between the two of you and then just kind of end badly, I would say, between the two of you. Um, it's basically what I'm getting because somebody's resorting right back to like their old ways all over again. Um, and it could be you doing this or it could be your person doing this. But yeah, it's like things start off really freaking good. Um to the point where things are looking promising between the two of you and then boom, somebody just has to resort right back into their old ways all over again, um, causing the relationship to go south yet again is basically what I'm getting. It's crazy, right? Because that's all that it really takes, you guys. That's literally all that it takes to make this relationship work between the two of you. Um, is for the both of you to do things differently this time around towards one another. Um, because if y'all go back to handling this relationship the way that you guys used to handle it, it it's going to go south. That this is, It's like the uh, definition of insanity. Doing the same thing over and over and over again, expecting a different outcome. You ain't going to get a different outcome. You know what I mean? You're going to get the same old outcome, right? That's the thing is that I see one person in this connection actually doing exactly what spirit wants them to do which is approaching this entire situation differently this time around so you can get a different outcome but then we got a whole nother individual over here that's like no i'm gonna go back to doing this i'm gonna go back to doing that um causing the relationship to yet again go south <sighs> what's the outcome here between these two We have the Three of Swords, we got the Knight of Pentacles, and then we also have the Tower out here. <clears throat> yeah, this relationship is, it's, it's, it's going south. Um, and the main reason why it's going south is because somebody in this equation, whether it be you or your person, somebody in this equation is trying to avoid another heartbreak, another disappointment, um, is basically what I'm getting. I don't know if you're trying to avoid this from happening to you or your person is, um, 
but somebody's trying to avoid. The Nine of Pentacles is very big on avoiding obstacles, avoiding certain things, right? Uh, the Knight of Pentacles is just known for that. For some of you, you could be dealing with a Virgo, specifically a Virgo, maybe even a Libra or a um, Scorpio. We also have Capricorn energy out here as well as Aquarian energy um, and Leo energy, regardless of this person's actual zodiac sign. They're trying to avoid another heartbreak and another disappointment here. And the only way that they can think um, to basically avoid another heartbreak or another disappointment is to go back to either pushing you away or you pushing them away um, or just outright running in the opposite direction of this relationship is basically what I'm getting. At the bottom of the deck, we do have the Four of Swords. We got the Six of Wands. We also have the Death card and then we have the King of Pentacles. You know what's sad? You know what's kind of sad here? Is that I feel like this person that's trying to avoid another heartbreak or another disappointment has every reason to feel the way that they feel because they've already experienced a heartbreak here. Whether that's them experiencing a heartbreak with you or you experiencing a heartbreak, um, you know, from them. I feel like this person has every reason to feel like there's a huge possibility that they're going to end up getting hurt and disappointed in the end. They're very, very just in why they feel the way that they feel and why they think what they think. I, I will give them that. However, what's sad about all of this is that the person that they're very worried and concerned is going to turn around and betray them again, deceive them again, break their heart again. It's somebody who has definitely matured and grown and evolved um, quite a bit. Um, you know, there's a huge possibility that this person in particular in the past could have been very, very immature. They could have been um, somebody who had nothing but time on their hands to sit up here and play games. You know what I mean? Um, causing this person a great deal of pain. But I feel like this person has changed so much. I feel like this person has changed so much. Um, and this is the problem, right? The problem is, is that although, yeah, this person has changed so much, this person's not even taking their chances to find out if in all actuality this person has honestly changed or not. And that's kind of what's sad, I would say, about this whole entire situation. Is that the one that they're worried and concerned is going to betray them or deceive them or hurt them again. Um, is the person that has actually, you know, grown a lot and matured a lot and evolved a lot. I just don't feel like they're going to stick around long enough to recognize that. It's basically what I'm getting. It's basically what I'm getting, unfortunately. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I don't, I don't know what else to say. Um, I just, uh, I mean, I, I, don't, I, I get why this person's reacting the way that they're reacting towards this connection. I understand they're very just in, in feeling the way that they feel, but that's the thing is that, you know, this person that they're so worried and concerned about, they've changed so much, but I just don't feel like they're going to stick around long enough to find out. So keep in mind, Aquarius, if this is your person feeling this way towards you, they're not going to stick around long enough to find out that you have actually changed. Um, if it's resonating vice versa, then it's resonating vice versa. Um, you know, cause for some of you, this could definitely represent someone that you don't trust because they've broken your trust in the past because they've broken your heart in the past. Um, you know, and like I said, you're just in feeling why you, you know, exactly how you feel. However, I do believe that this person has drastically changed quite a bit. I just don't feel you're going to stick around long enough to find out, to be completely honest. Um, yeah, I don't see you sticking around long enough to find out. It's like you rather, it's like you rather just spare yourself. You know what I mean? Before they hurt you again, before they betray you again, before they deceive you again, you rather just kind of spare yourself and just walk away now and avoid what you think is going to end up happening to you just to basically call it, you know, uh, I'm just trying to protect myself type of situation. But man, I feel like this person has changed a lot. Tell me more about this person. Let's see. Ooh. I feel like since this ending occurred here between the two of you, I keep wanting to say this, especially if this is somebody that you used to deal with, okay? Um, and of, of course, I could be describing you, so just keep that in mind. But I feel like since this ending occurred here between the two of you, I do feel like this person has definitely... Um, I do feel like this person has definitely changed a lot. They've definitely changed a lot. Um, I feel like this person realized something the moment that they lost you. And I do want to see what it is that they basically realized. Mm. Oh, 
you have the page of swords you got the ace of wands you got the queen of pentacles and then we have the nine of cups you know i feel like the moment this person lost you they basically realized that they really did lose a really really good thing it's interesting because how do i explain this person's thought process because I don't know if this person was just a lot younger at the time when the two of you initially got together or what in the heck is going on here. I do feel like this person was way more immature back then than they are now. I'll say that. Um, but anyways, um, anyways, I feel like it's a combo of the both now that I freaking think about it. Don't mind me. The coffee hasn't kicked in just yet. But um, I just feel like this person was just to um immature i would say to realize what they actually had right in front of them is basically what i'm getting i feel like it took them a while to realize like damn i had a really really good thing i don't feel like this initially hit them at first you know i feel like when this ending occurred here between the two of you they just kind of brushed it off like ah whatever you know what i mean um but i feel like it eventually caught up to them and they started to basically realize like fuck i had a good thing and i and i blew it you know um i had a good thing but i was way too immature i was way too childish and you know stuff like that um that's the thing though hmm. i feel well that's the thing i feel like the both of you have grown and evolved so much since the last time you all saw each other is basically what i'm getting or spoke to one another um i feel like the both of you have definitely matured um quite a bit um, you know, I just feel, to be real, I feel like the reason why this relationship didn't work out had a lot to do with the both of you. And I'm just going to be very real and blunt honest with you because I know y'all appreciate that. Um, you know, I feel like the both of you played a massive role because the both of you are basically coming across as two pages. So that's kind of telling me um, that the both of you basically played a role in why things didn't necessarily work out between the two of you. Um, listen, you could have allowed past traumas that you've experienced to get the best of you within this dynamic. That's a possibility. Uh, maybe they allow their childish ways to get the best of them, causing the relationship in itself to go south. You know, I feel like y'all played a role in why things didn't work out. I don't feel like it's all them and they're the reason why it didn't work out. Like, I feel like the both y'all played a role in why things didn't necessarily work out between the two of you. And I feel like, you know, sense since then you guys have definitely grown and and evolved um you know quite a bit is basically what i'm getting it's basically what i'm getting but that's the thing is that somebody's not trying to take their chances here somebody's not trying to find out if such and such has actually changed or not they rather just walk away and call it a day than take their chances is basically what i'm getting Hmm. It's basically what I'm getting. What are we doing here, people? We have the Ace of Cups. We have the three. Okay, th this person that's falling into this energy of, you know what? I'd rather be safe than sorry. You know what? I'd rather just walk away now because I just think that such and such is going to put me through this, that, and the third. And to avoid all of that, I'm just going to walk away now. But see, here's the issue, okay? Here's the issue that I'm having with this person. Is that although, yes, they're just to feel the way that they feel towards this person because of what this person has put them through, they're just in feeling the way that they feel. I'll give them that. But there, there, there's just, uh, God, it's like a, it's like a battle that they're experiencing because it's like on one hand, it's like, they just want to dodge a bullet. You see me? You, you see what I mean? Like they just want to dodge a bullet, which I get why they do because of their history with this individual. But at the same exact time, they're just like, well, damn, like, but what if this person has actually changed? What if things could be different this time around? Hmm? You know what I mean? It's like that battle of, should I, should I like see where this goes or should I not see where this goes should I give them a chance or should I not give them a chance because deep down inside no matter how you want to slice and dice this this person that's like ah no I just want to dodge you know a bullet I don't want to go through this again I don't want to go through that again deep down inside they they they, they want to see where this goes deep down inside they really really do you know because there's a possibility that you know things Sorry, I ran out of storage, but as I was saying, I remember repeating myself, I apologize, but um, what was I saying? Oh, um, 
things can be different this time around. It just kind of requires this person to approach this entire situation differently. So the real question is, are they honestly ready to approach this entire situation with this individual differently or not? Because if they're not ready to honestly approach this relationship differently this time around, you might as well just walk away and call it a day. Because if this person continues to operate from the same place they were operating from back then, and they do it now this time around, it is bound to go south. It is bound to go south. It is bound to go south. They're not going to experience a new experience um, whatsoever. But if they choose to approach this entire situation differently, they could have a whole new experience with this person. And a beautiful one at that. But this really does kind of all depend on them, not necessarily the person that they're worried and concerned about. Because the person that they're worried and concerned about has put in the work to change and mature. That's besides the point here. But are they honestly ready to approach this differently? Because if they're not ready to approach this differently, I think that they should just continue to just dodge this imaginary bullet. You know what I mean? I guess. Because I don't feel like there's anything that they have to worry about they just think they have everything to worry about but they're just in thinking that way because of what this person has put them through you know what i mean i'm not gonna sit here and say oh man this person's wrong for even thinking that look this person's amazing you know what i mean no they have their reasons to think the way that they think about this individual but i don't know this all kind of depends on them you know they can approach this entire situation differently and experience a whole new experience and it's going to be a good one at that or they could just continue to dodge this imaginary bullet that doesn't exist and is not coming at them. You know what I mean? All right. That's what I have for you, Aquarius. Hopefully the reading helped. Hopefully it resonated. And I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye.